Hey, welcome to One Up Drum Vids. My name's Carson. Uh, thanks for checking it out. So this video, we're busting out the practice pad because uh, I kind of miss her a little bit. Um, the very first video I did was called the Displaced Single Paradiddle Challenge. And we took a single paradiddle and just learned how to displace it in every possible variation in a bar of 16th notes. So since that first video I did, I've done quite a few videos and they're all based on single paradiddles. And the last one in particular that I put out was called the Thomas Pridgen Paradiddle Groove Part 2. And we were taking some variations and applying them to a single paradiddle to make uh, the groove sound way cooler and uh, a lot more challenging and kind of technically difficult. So I wanted to make a video where we took the same kind of things that we were doing in the last one and applied them to like a practice pad exercise so you can practice it, you know, on the pad or on your lap with your hands or, you know, whatever, just to get this stuff together and really build a strong foundation for, for these things so when you bring them to the kit, you know, you're just killing it. So, so in this video, I'm going to take three variations, apply them to the single paradiddle and, and displace them in every possible way, uh, in a bar of 16th notes. So the first variation that we're going to apply is if you play a single paradiddle, right, left, right, right, that one left note that happens, we're just going to diddle it. So it turns into two lefts. So it's going to go instead of right, left, right, right, we get right, left, left, right, right. And when you apply that to the other side, you get right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, left. So it sounds kind of like that. So if you take that and you apply it to the displaced single paradiddle challenge, where we're going to move the accent by one sixteenth note in every possible way, and it comes around to the left hand, then you do it left hand lead, it sounds like this. I don't know about you, but that's way cooler than uh, just the regular display single paradiddle challenge. It uh, adds a whole other dimension, and um, t for me, it just opens up a whole other possibility uh, when I bring it to the kit. The next variation we're going to apply, variation number two, is uh, when you're playing a single paradiddle again, right, left, right, right. On that right, right that happens, the last two notes, we're going to sneak another left in between them. So we get right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Sounds like this. So if we take that variation and apply it to the displaced single paradiddle challenge, it goes like this. That one's super fun to play and it really works on your three stroke roll because that's exactly what you're doing when you're sneaking that left in there, which is pretty cool. And also another rad thing to move around the kit. So in the third variation, we're just adding those two elements together. So we're doing the diddle onto the double and then we're sneaking that note in between the double. So right, left, left, right, left, right. Right, left, left, right, left, right. So when you apply that variation to the display single parallel challenge, it sounds like this. So yeah, those are three uh, three ways that you can spice up your, your single paradiddles. I found that these three variations are super um, applicable to playing these on the drum set, and they really free you up behind the kit. So check out the PDF before. I've got a transcription of all three of the exercises fully displaced. Um, so check it out. Add this to your, your practice pad routine, and uh, let me know what you think. <laughs>